Tony's Town Square restaurant, which if you followed us for any amount of time, you know, not our favorite restaurant at Walt Disney World. Sometimes when we poke a lot of fun at, but you know the rules. We're WWNT. Whenever something's new, we got to be there. There is a new menu here. There's a couple of new appetizers, some new entrees, and some new desserts. So we're gonna go check them out. Come along with us. Okay, so the the first course has arrived. We have two of the new appetizers. Kayla, you have the menu? This is the menu. Oh, yeah. I, need the, I need the official description. Thank you. So this does not come with this, by the way. Uh, this is the Toy Box Tomato Salad, which is marinated tomatoes with uh, torn burrata cheese, cucumbers, focaccia, pickled onions, and basil. So you see the focaccia there. There's our pickled onions. A lot of tomatoes as you would imagine. All right, let's just, let's try this first. I'm gonna get some tomato. A little cheese. Maybe some focaccia. In there. There we go. All I got was the tomato. All I got was the taste of tomato. I didn't get the cheese really. The bread is good because it breaks it up a bit. It breaks up the consistency a bit. But I don't know. Everything in here is fresh. But I don't know. Even the honestly, the vegetables are even a little flavorless. I'm getting you. Know, everything tastes like watermelon almost because it's just very watery. So I'm not getting the flavor from the fruits and vegetables you're supposed to get. But, yeah, all right. That was disappointing. I don't know what I expect. Okay, this, this amazing thing is Tony's garlic bread for the table. It's toasted Shabbat. Oh, look at this. You can just put them down. You gotta stay, right? Oh, thank you. It's baked as well. Yeah. And pasta with a sausage. You know yep. Thank you. One more place. Okay. Welcome to Tony's. Where they'll have you on ten minutes or less. That's a guarantee. So this is so the, This is the garlic bread for the table. We have very limited table space left at this point. Um, yep. Is this the middle of the soy pie? Thank you. Um, this is what we have. One more time. <laughs> the toasted garlic bread for the table. Um, it's toasted ciabatta, roasted garlic butter, and Parmesan fonduta. Um, and here's that cheese and Alfredo. So are you gonna pour more on there? You're gonna regret that in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna take you from this Jenga-like tower of garlic bread. <laughs> There's going to be some unfortunate screenshots from this review. Oh it's like eating a clove of garlic. A clove of garlic. <laughs> like eating a clove of garlic with a with with a slight burnt aftertaste of the bread. Um, it's it's just too garlicky, it's too over seasoned. It's not I've had way worse here, but that's just too much. Way too much. Alright. Well the food came three seconds of three got our appetizers, but uh, it's time to try the new entrees here at Tony's. First up, this is the penne with chicken al forno, which is roasted chicken, caramelized onions, and mushrooms baked with spicy, creamy tomato sauce and topped with mozzarella. And then there's just some arugula thrown over here. I'm gonna try the arugula first. It's 
going great already. All right, let's get in. Let's get in here. We got chicken. We got penne. I've had worse here. Is that a mushroom? Did I, I did read mushrooms, right? Yes. Really thick layer of cheese on there. Not that I'm complaining, it's perfectly fine. Um, the sauce actually isn't bad. It is really creamy, it's tomato forward. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, this isn't bad. The pasta's cooked right, it's actually nice and soft. Um, you know, the sauce is well seasoned, it tastes right, the cheese is fine. This is a solid dish. I hate to say the chicken, I don't know if the chicken really added, the chicken added a nice textural break from the soft pasta, but this is a winner. Thank you. All right. This is the orecchette, orecchette, as they said, with spicy Italian sausage. It's house-made sausage, broccoli rabe, onion, roasted garlic, and toasted bread crumbs. Tony's is back to form. Sausages. It's bad. It's real, real bad quality. Just doesn't taste right. It tastes microwaved, in fact. Um, the pasta's probably fine. Uh, pasta's not cooked particularly well. It's real chewy. I mean, the sauce is. How is the sauce described? So yeah, it's so salty. So I would skip this. The sausage is not high quality. The pasta is not great. Sauce again. This broth down here, just pure salt. The butcher steak. Tony, I've, I've called Tony a butcher before. Usually, have intestines. But, uh, this is marinated. This is marinated hanger steak with crispy Parmesan potatoes, arugula, lemon, and a mild Calabrian chili pesto. Medium rare. They recommended medium rare, which I'm proud of them. I'm very proud of them for them, but I'm kind of surprised. It's pretty easy to cook. I didn't touch anything. It's a pretty nice piece of meat. It's not too chewy, it's pretty well cooked. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a good portion size too, right? I know some people are gonna look at that and think that's gross. That is how I eat my steak. But, um, and that's what they're recommending, so. I mean, I've had some steaks at Tony's before. This is probably one of the better ones I've had, if not the best. Let's try a potato. Standard offering, but they're, they're cooked well, they're good. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, in Magic Kingdom, this is, I'm trying to think if there's a better steak in Magic Kingdom. The beer guest one is pretty good. Um, this is, Again, I'm, I'm speechless. It's, it's a well-cooked, decent cut of meat in Magic Kingdom. So that's another thing I would not order again. All right, one to go. I don't know if Tony's gonna have a winning percentage. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Uh, this is the shrimp scampi, the oven-roasted shrimp scampi. Uh, 
shrimp with lemon, roasted garlic butter, and white wine served with crispy Parmesan potatoes. All right, let's give a shot. Obviously, we've had these already. We just had those. I'm gonna have a bite of this garlic, non-garlic bread. Cut, did that cut your gums? Luckily, I had braces to protect them. Okay. The shrimp is perfectly fine. It's not terribly fishy, and if it is, I think the butter sauce killed it in the seasoning. Um, if you like shrimp and you like butter, you probably enjoy this. There's a good number of shrimp too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shrimp. What was the price on this? Do you have the price? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars and nine shrimp at thirty dollars. Someone get out the shrimp calculator. Um. I mean, you'll be full, right? You've got a whole stack of potatoes here. There's this bread to dip into this butter sauce. And again, bread and butter, how do you go wrong, right? I'm so disappointed. Three of these four dishes were good. Enough. <laughs> Look, let me preface that with enough. This is still not the restaurant I'm sending you to at Magic Kingdom. This is kind of a step up for them in most cases. It's edible. And in some cases, even pretty decent so I, the world is changing at a rate I cannot keep up with Tony's has some food that I would tell people to order so I give up okay so there are three new desserts here at Tony's as well we have what are, what are these again I think if the Tony's Spumoni tart is this uh, we have the uh, mandarincello custard, which is over here. Let's turn that that way. And then the it's a tiramisu cannoli. So it's a cannoli with a filling that will taste like tiramisu. Right? Um, so let's go over the. Let, let's start with the cannoli. Seems like a safe place to start. The description reads: uh, house-made filling with hints of espresso, chocolate, and mascarpone cheese, which is you know, tiramisu. First, first thing you should know is you shouldn't take this down because if you try to break that on top of that one, someone's going to wear half a canola. I might wear it still. Need a hammer or a chisel or something? There we go. That's a lot of espresso. Like, have you ever wanted to eat coffee? Um, so... The shell's a little hard. I know they're supposed to be, but it's... Hard to the point where it's kind of hard to chew. Um, it's fine. A really, like, profound coffee flavor. Like, strong coffee flavor. It's not bad. I think people will like it. Okay, so this I'm calling the Flavor Lab Special. For those who don't know, um, there is a place, a kitchen space, uh, behind Fort Orleans where Disney develops a lot of their menu items. And since the introduction of the Flavor Lab, you've probably seen a ton of desserts that are in this little pie crust, right? You've probably seen this a million times now. Here's the latest, and always with this this circular mousse on top, right? You saw it at Pandora. You've seen it at a bunch of other sit-downs. You've seen it at counter service. So, I mean, this is what everything out of the Flavor Lab looks like to me most of the time. Uh, in this case, it is a flourless chocolate cake, pistachio cream, and dark cherry mousse. I'm gonna guess cherry mousse, pistachio cream, and that's the cake in the middle. 
wild guess, I know. The coloring wouldn't tell you anything. Ah, oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. The pistachio cream is really dense to the point where it's off-putting. Like it's just so dense, it's like... Like, so this is, obviously, right, this mousse is real soft. Very soft, really creamy. Pretty good. The cake... Cake is soft, moist, well made, but then this, look at this. Like, I gotta really push down to get this out. It ruins the whole thing. They've got a good thing going on on the top. And I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it's just the most dense, hard mix. I've ever had. Like it's, it's just really awful. The top two layers are good, but I mean, that's a lot of this. Is that bottom? The chocolate pie crust is good too. You get a little bit of that. But yeah, that, that pistachio, it, it doesn't have a particularly strong flavor either. It just kills the whole thing. Okay. Now, for the Mandarin cello and custard, which is chef's house made mandarin cello and almond biscotti, which is there on top. I'm gonna clean my spoon a little bit. I don't want that pistachio, that hardened pistachio cream in my life. There we go. Well, that's more solid than I thought that was gonna be, too. flavor, very, very orangey. Um, it's, again, I, I don't like the denseness, right? Like, that's, I don't know that this is the consistency this should be. It's very solid. Um, which is a little off-putting, I don't know. This is weird, and I feel like, this is a big, like, you know, I don't know if you really tell in the video, but this is a pretty big size little dish. I think two or three bites of that, and even if I liked it, I'd be like, I can't eat more of this rich, you know, uh, cream. To the eye, Tom, it looks like creme brulee when it when they brought it out, and it's much more dense. I think even based on the, based on the description, I would expect something a little lighter, right? Like, it's, yeah. like there's no movement there, right? When I hit that, it doesn't move. It's, it's a solid gel. Uh, still less dense than that perception. <laughs> It's so rich. I can't imagine having more than two or three bites of it. Like I can't, I can't have it. It's so sweet, profound citrus. I just, three bites in it. The cannoli's the winner. I would have the cannoli if I brought people here. Yes, I'm sure the cannoli's are pretty good. Do you like coffee? Though I have to. Ask, do you like coffee? You better like coffee because it's very strong espresso flavor. I'm gonna have a bite of the biscotti. Did we call it home biscotti? Oh, I broke it. I mean, it's almond. It's it's pretty stale. Um, yeah, I if anything, just get the cannoli. But you gotta you gotta be okay with espresso. Gotta be okay with espresso. Otherwise. Don't bother. So in total, in review, um, probably one of the better meals we've had at Tony's in my life, other than when I was a kid and I'd eat like the chicken parmesan and the spaghetti. It just wasn't great, but as a kid, I didn't know any better. Caesar salad's pretty decent too. But anyway, of the new stuff, we didn't care for the appetizers, didn't really love the desserts, but three of the four entrees look pretty decent, which is a big step up for them. So I applaud. Obviously, someone looked at the menu, looked at what they were serving. was like, can we do a little better? And 
you know, I appreciate the effort at least. Is it my favorite restaurant? No. Is it a place I'm gonna recommend top two or three in this park to people? No. But, um, it's probably a couple appetizers and desserts away from being something I might actually recommend. So, you know, if you wanna come here and just get an entree, you'll be fine, but otherwise maybe, maybe Tony still isn't the place for you.